do you think that is also possible that women also create this ego when they have seen this and seen that and you know they've learned this and they've learned that and now they have this degree and now I think that's the stigma people put on women because like it's very easy to say that it can for a woman but not all women right i'm not denying that there aren't women out there that probably thrive and say hi I, i'm you're beneath me you know those women exist Maybe. but but i feel like it's the social stigma that people feel inadequate within themselves that then project like, oh, she thinks she's better than me. When meanwhile, you don't even know what she's, how her, like she could be having the worst day, month, year of her life. Mm -hmm. And you think she got it all put together, you know? Cause in the outside world, people looking in wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't have a clue, but inside she's falling apart, you know? Like just, and yeah, yeah, I agree. Like you said, like, I think it goes both ways, right? I do think there are women out there who get cocky and like try to belittle men because it's like, oh, I make a six figure salary and I drive this car and I do this and do that. And yeah, they do try to belittle the men. Like, so I think there's that population, but at the same time, I think there is the population where it's like, no, I'm not trying to offend you. We just don't connect on those levels because I've had these experiences and you haven't, right? So if you're offended by that, that doesn't have anything to do with me. That sounds very personal. personal. Right. So I think it, it can go both ways. Mm -hmm. Like there are women who make it their point to be like, I got a master's degree and I do this and I do that and I make six figures and you can't do nothing for me. And if you can't buy me a Chanel bag on the first date, then it's a dub. Like you have yeah. those because that is that's that's the lifestyle. Right. If you can't take me to a five star steakhouse, if I don't have a Chanel bag on the first date. It's like you broke and you can't do nothing for me. And that goes so to, there's that population, right? right? To, but then there's the population where it's just like, Ugh, I'm here and you're not. That doesn't mean a bad thing. You know but. what? I I I really feel like even with the high IQ and with all the education, sometimes you're just not going to find every like somebody that's going to check Connect all those. To you. Can yeah. I also say? Can, 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 yeah. I feel like it's like. <laughs> If you're looking for love and in a, in a relationship is what you really want to be right. successful in, it's like, stop trying to find someone that's as smart as you. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to would... find someone that has the same, if, if they don't have a master's degree because I have a master's right. degree, no, then no, I, no, I won't no, date no, no. you. It's like, no, because they could be smart in other ways. Like you said, you've experienced a lot. With, with just experiences rather than, you know, degrees. Anybody can, you yeah, know, get a degree. Yeah, get a but, it, you know, if you meet someone and they've experienced a lot and they've taught you a lot and they teach you, they continue to teach mm -hmm. you a lot, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, they're good enough for me. You know, you got you to gotta work on balancing your strengths. Right. Mm -hmm. Work off of your partner's strengths. So he might not be as smart as you. You might have all the degrees, you might have the higher IQ, but he has a lot more experience. He experienced a lot in life and he has taught me a lot and he has, you know, a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. So even though we're not on, the, you know, the same on this level, he's good enough. Right. So I'm going to play on those strengths and he plays on my strengths because I'm smart enough to teach him stuff too. Right, right. So it's, is it safe to say too, and let's keep this in mind, that even the smartest people no matter what the degree, no matter how beautiful the house and the car is, can be straight up trash. They, those people, there's some people that can be straight up trash. No, yeah. Or you know, like, being smart, or being people, intelligent or, or people, isn't everything. Or people with high IQs might not even give a, I think they don't even give a shit about relationships, right? It's like, listen. Like, where's my is, money at? Right? Not even <laughs> Having a high IQ not, doesn't tie you with a bow. Like, like, this perfect. is what I want to do. This is what I'm focused on. This is what like I'm dedicated to mm -hmm. 100%. You mm -hmm. want to ride or not? You coming? Because mm -hmm. if you come in, just come. If not, then I'm good, right? right? So I don't think it's that they can't have these relationships. I just think it's what they prioritize. Like, right. you have this high IQ and you're like dead set on Go. a research topic or something. It's right. like, I don't give a damn how good you look girl I don't give a fuck how good that they're married is. to their I got their shit to do mm -hmm. right like mm -hmm. I'm good mm -hmm. married to my work mm -hmm. get in where you fit in right right and some people can't tolerate so, that right. because they want the family now they want the house the marriage today and that they, person they, is they, they, not they the person for you right that's all that right. means right and I feel mm. like and I feel like you said in order to have a successful relationship you have to have the intention two people have to want to do it because it does mm -hmm. take work. No, oh, yeah. It does take work and some people may not want to use that that free time on that. They might want to get a Nobel prize 
You know, they want right. to use their it's brain. like that's not important <laughs> that's, enough to me. Right, right. That's right. what I see about like prioritizing things. Like not saying that you're not important. That's just not the most important, important thing. Some, yeah. Right. Like this is more important and you kind of fall right here. Not saying that that has anything to do with your value, but that's just what's more important to them. Right. Without intelligent folks, we wouldn't be having a lot of successful right. vaccinations and cures to diseases. Okay. So, so shout out to those Get people. to work. Um, but what I, you know, what do you think men mostly underestimate about women? Like, what do you think they, they the most? That men, I think like, they play on our, like, emotional intelligence, and, right? Yeah, like, too. women are more likely to be vulnerable. Women are more likely to be emotional, right? So I think they try to play on how you feel about right, them, right? right? You know, it can, I'm not saying that everything has to be manipulative, but it oh. can be, it can get manipulative. It can be like, okay, I know how to press her buttons. I know what triggers her. I know what's going to keep her. I know what's going to get her back, right? So I think they play on those things to try to keep or bring the women right. back. And, right? And those motherfuckers, they don't have to be high IQs. They just smart as fuck. They're using, their, they're, they use the weakness of knowing that women overall were nurturers. What else they are. use? <laughs> right, right. They, they're like, I was they're thinking like, sexuality. What, what else they use? <laughs> they, they, they use the power of you know, that they they wine, dine, romance you, and they use the emotional, mental manipulation. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying smart people sometimes will do dumb things. Look at, like, all right, I come from a good family, dean's list, honor rolls, scholarship at one of the best Ivy League schools. But you've done and, some dumb shit over a man. And I did some dumb ass shit over I, a man. <laughs> you know, I stayed in a really abusive relationship because I had that ride or die mentality because right. you see... So, you know, you don't know what love is until you experience something that's not love. Ah, I agree. <laughs> you don't know what it is until you know what it ain't, right? Right. I agree. And yeah. and and it, it takes life experiences mm -hmm. to do that. But but that's you, why I say life experiences to me are more valuable than anything you can get a degree, in a degree, paper, right? Like anything. you can sit in a class and it's going to be structured and you're going to follow this syllabus and you're going to follow this curriculum and this is what you're going to learn and this is what you're going to leave with. Not saying that it's not valuable, but that's just the extent of what it is. Right. Whereas experiences like there's no textbook to that. There's no pamphlet to that, how that's going to work. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like. So our weakness is emotion. Right. Does that make us. I don't, leave, I don't think does, of it as a weakness. It, no, for a man, a man, be. they underestimate it, think that it is weakness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now would a submissive man be considered a undervalued? Under Yeah. Would a submissive man be a good man? Is a good man submissive? <laughs> to like a powerful woman? Is that what we're talking about? Is a good man submissive to a powerful woman? Do you want a man to be submissive? Uh, I think there are men who are definitely submissive to powerful women, but not because I think they want to be, because it's just like, let me play my cards, right? I mean, some men I like don't to really, be mistreated. <laughs> I can't really no, tell you. No, but being you. submissive, hold on, hold on. Being submissive, I don't think equates to being like mistreated. Well, I'm talking right? about like domination. No, stuff. no, no. That's what I'm talking about. No, definitely about. not. But it's like imagine you being submissive, knowing that you have a good man. It's like imagine the roles were reversed. reversed. That's my point, right? Like I, it's completely okay, and I am one thousand percent open to being submissive to a man who knows how to lead, right? Because I think that's the problem we always hit the brick wall with. We're like, every man is like, I'm a man, I got a dick, like, be <laughs> submissive to me. And it's like, where are you going to lead me? Right. Into a, a ditch? Right. Like, no. You understand what I'm saying? So it's about being submissive to the appropriate man. But in terms of men being submissive to powerful women, ugh. Maybe powerful women find that attractive because there's got to be a balance somewhere. You can't just have full masculinity, right? There's got to be some... And, and, and masculinity and femininity has nothing to do with gender. Right. Because a man could be feminine and a woman could be masculine. And sometimes that is their truth. And as hard as it can be to try to undo that truth, you have to accept your truth. But do you really think, like, let's get, let's, let's, Chris Jenner and Corey Gamble. <laughs> Y'all think he being submissive because he really like Chris Jenner? No, he like that chick. I mean, I, he I liked that check. Is he getting a check? But are we talking about submissive in bed and sexual orientation? But I'm not, because that's not what I was. I mean, we can to. only we can only account we can only account for his submissiveness from what we've seen like in the media, right? But like, as far as I'm concerned, he's like a yes man. Yeah, like hold my hand on a red carpet and 
you know. Sadly, that's that's like, a, that's a different. It, it's sad because some people will say that it's not love and it's a a, a power ego. I don't want to go that far. I don't know right, them to say right, like right. he actually. Yeah, doesn't I was love like, her. I don't but, know. So some, I won't take people, it that no, far. I'm saying some but, people might say that, and some people might say he's just a submissive I think, man. I think overall, men have a a very big problem with being submissive. Every yeah, time I we, was gonna every say. Every time we talk about submissiveness, is always like. The, are the women submissive to the men? Like, she's too independent. She's to not me, oh, guys I'm, don't like independent girls. No, no they yeah. don't. To they me, don't. I feel like... I don't... I, don't, I, no, I, I, don't I hear that, that all the time as an independent woman. They're like, oh, you're single because you're independent. How is that? I make a man's life easier? Girl no, you just like dumb. independent women. Right? You don't need nothing from me, and I ain't got to give you shit, so... Mm -hmm. But I don't want to girl. say, girl. <laughs> right? To me, yeah. it's like I don't really know if a submissive man is necessarily a good man. But I know that men, maybe some men, I don't want to say men right. as a whole, have a problem being submissive when you're the like breadwinner or you're the one with the higher IQ or you're the, you know, you're the, you're the head of the household. I feel like they're still going to try to find their way to be dominant right. in the household. Even if you're making the more money, even if you're smarter, I don't think a man it's like you got to let him be a man in the yeah, house. I don't though. think a man being dominant has anything to do with money.